Hey, what is up? Welcome back to Dalton and Cloud. My beard is disheveled as much as my hair is a mess. So um, today we got a special one for you. We're going to be going over two more VMware certifications uh, and you will see why in a second. Uh, so without further ado, uh, be sure to like uh, if you like the video, uh, hit the like button. If not, then, you know, hit the dislike button. Um, otherwise, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're going to put it over here. Hit that subscribe button and then tap the notification bell. Uh, without further ado, let's get into today's video. All right. So, uh, as I said in the last video, this uh, particular uh, video is going to be going over two different um, certification pathways, and you'll see here in a minute. So the primary certification we're going to be going over for today's video is going to be the VCP DCV 2021 certification. So this is the VMware Certified Professional Professional Ah Data Center Virtualization Certification for 2021. So. Uh, the options here, certification path if you hold either no previous professional level certification. So if you got the associate level, unfortunately, they don't consider that as part of a prerequisite you could utilize for this course. Uh, previous VCP certification, or you could use the uh, VCP, like any of the ones uh, previously, uh, like DCV 2020, 2019 6.5 or uh, the uh, NV certification. So if you also went for your networking virtualization certification, and that will be important for later on. Um, but, you know, if we just got the associate level certification, we don't have any of those, unfortunately. Uh, we're just getting into the VMware space. Uh, so we would choose either for vSphere 7.0 or 6.7, whatever um, version we want to be utilizing. We'll just go with 7.0 because why not? Um, so you need to gain experience. They have plenty of free lab material and plenty of free resources you could use to set this up yourself and get some experience. That's fine. Uh, we don't mind looking through documentation. No, uh, no issue there. Uh, and then require one of these or attend one of these required training courses. So you have to sign up. They won't say what the number is. So I, I signed up for everyone's behalf. Uh, let, let's see what let's see what uh, the price is for this. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Hmm. You know, I don't know about you, but I, I work for a living. I'd rather invest that money in some stocks, uh, maybe get some GME shares. Uh, but uh, so uh, I, I don't think this is going to be for us, uh, unfortunately. A, a lot of vendor certifications are expensive. This is a little bit more expensive. Uh, I, I'd rather go get a GX certification than uh, pay for that. So, uh, so we're going to go over some uh, a little loop around. That's why we actually have this is part of that uh, that extra bit of information we have in here. We talked about this a little bit last time. So this is the VCP NV 2021 certification. So the VMware Certified Professional Network Virtualization 2021. So this is one of the prerequisites you uh, could utilize uh, where you do not need to have a required training. It's recommended now at this point, not required. Uh, and then you could take the test, which is going to be $250 for the uh, DCV certification. So we got to learn some networking, but you know what? We want to, we're, we're in IT. We want to learn networking anyway. So what do we need for this? No certification. Ah, we have a required training again, but let's assume, you know, you've done networking before. You don't have a VMware certification, but you do have a Cisco one. So, do you have a CCNP, CCNA even, or a CCIE? Guess what? You're, you don't need a required training for this. You could go right in and take this $250 certification 
as well. So right now we're already saving money. Uh, I'm not going to do uh, go over training material for the CCNA, but that may be for another video. But we want to go over training material for the CC or uh, the VCP NV as well as for the VCP DCV. So the data center data center virtualization as well as the network virtualization. So first off, we love them. We're always going to go back to them. IT Pro TV here to save the day. Updated for vSphere 7. Uh, it's going to be their uh, VMware VCP DCV certification program course. It's 18 hours, 18 and a half hours of information. They do an amazing job in this in this video course as well as all their other courses. I, you can never go wrong with training material through IT Pro TV. Uh, next up, everyone else loves them. I got to give it to them. It's going to be CBT Nuggets. So they don't have it updated for seven uh, vSphere seven, but they do have it updated for six point five with six point seven updates. Uh, this is taught by Keith Barker. Keith is an amazing instructor, an amazing YouTuber. Uh, just amazing in general. This is 22 hours worth of training, 76 virtual labs, one practice exam, 102 videos. Uh, can't go wrong really with uh, CBT Nuggets either. And then, of course, similar to IT Pro TV, you get access to more than just one certification. And they also have the uh, certification for the NSX training, which is the NV uh, certification. Uh, this is actually a little bit older. It looks like this is for the, uh, an older version of the exam, uh, for the virtualization network training. So, uh, this may be a little bit dated, but still 13 hours of training for the network virtualization, 109 videos, still going to be, uh, worth it in my opinion. So next up we go to Udemy. Uh, Udemy is always going to have variable encounters, but it's never a bad resource. Uh, this doesn't necessarily say it's going to prepare you for the exam, but it does say it's a beginner to advance. I did go a little bit over the content. Uh, Fedabin seemed to do a good job explaining uh, the concepts here. Um, and even though they don't say that it's going to, you know, get you ready for the exam, they do go over a lot of the uh, different uh, subjects in the exam material. Same here, although this is for uh, VCP uh, for 6.5. Uh, this does say it's going to prepare you for VCP, but again, 6.5. So unfortunately, uh, this is going to be a little bit more uh, limited and this is only five hours of training So this is going to be more for like if you're going for the associate level certification, which we already went over in the last video So next up we have a little bit more uh, study material here so uh, And now, now mind you when we start getting into the network virtualization, there's going to be a lot less training material out there uh, because unfortunately not as many people are trying to take the network virtualization uh, course because uh, there's not going to be as much job openings for it or job requirement for it unless it's like a very specific niche role, kind of like similar to a ServiceNow uh, or Salesforce administrator, right? Um, most people are going to want data center virtualization. Uh, that That's what a lot of people are going to be looking for. That's why you're going to see a lot more resources for it. But we don't want to pay all that money for that course, so we're going to do our best to not pay that money. Um, but uh, so first stop on our resource pathway for non-video courses is going to be itmuscle.com. Uh, so he created this uh, person who manages this blog. Uh, he went through. IT, Mr. Mike Wilson, IT muscle over here. So he went through this course in 2020, very similar to the 2021. Uh, it hasn't changed that much. Uh, if you want to donate to him, great. It supports him, makes it to where he could keep updating amazing content like this. He created his own study guide. It's free to download. Just go to his website. I'll have the link in the description. Uh, you know, we, we love people like this. 
Uh, looks like he also had one for the uh, NSX. Um, I know these show updated per year. I don't know when this one was last updated, but uh, for people like this who specialize in something and then they, they make the material for us, please go and support these people. It's always great to, to support people who want to give to the community. So next up is going to be some reading material for you. You, you always want to, you know, take different forms of content to digest. So this is going to be by John Davis and Steve Baca uh, and Owen Thomas for the uh, vSphere 7.x uh, exam. Uh, this is more up to date. Uh, you can buy the hardcover. It's going to be $53 or, you know, you have a tablet, you have a phone. Just get the Kindle version. You're going to save almost 20 bucks. So it's going to be 34 bucks, 35 bucks uh, for the Kindle version. Next up is going to be uh, going into some. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. We're, we're going to go into the network virtualization content. So this is by um, Britton Johnson. So uh, he has a four part series for the uh, network virtualization course. Uh, he just updated this in March 2020, so this is pretty up to date as you could get. Uh, he has, I, I went through about, as you saw, about uh, 19, 20 minutes of this. Uh, great content on here. I really suggest you look this up, even if you've already taken the CCNA, it's still re recommended that you actually take some form of training uh, for this. Um, even because, as you saw over here, it did say, recommended you still take training even if you have Cisco certification um, and then uh, there's actually a blog post uh, on VMware's uh, blog page that says how to be become VMware NSX expert today this was posted in January 2020 um, as I said uh, there the 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 actual like uh, requirements and um, what goes into the exam hasn't really changed that much from 2020 to 2021. Uh, just when you start getting into 2018, 2019 studying material, that's when it's going to be, be a little dated. Uh, but yeah, uh, they, they tell you different guides you could go through, uh, as well as on-demand scenarios. These, of course, is going to be things we don't want to pay for. And then they even tell you about YouTube channels and uh, playlists you could go and watch. So they do have a lot of like free material, uh, like free hands-on labs and uh, YouTube material and all that uh, that they want to recommend on top of the paid material. So you just have to kind of dig through this uh, and pick and choose what you want. Next up, some more reading material. This is by Elver Sinasosa. Um, so again, Hard cover, 51 to 35, or Kindle for 34, or paperback for 26 to 35. Um, if you are someone who is like me and you actually do like uh, feeling the book, uh, you'd, you'd be just as well going for the paperback. Otherwise, just go for the Kindle version. Don't pay the extra money for the hard cover. Uh, next up, Udemy for the NSX. Uh, this is, again, this is going to be a little bit more dated. This is for the NV 2019 preparation in VCP6 NV. So this is a little bit more dated. Uh, great instructor. Uh, Rick is a great instructor. Seven hours of content. Um, but as you see, it was last updated September of 2020. So this, this could be good material, but Remember, when you start getting to some of this material that set even shows how dated it is, you want to be careful with what you uh, use as study material and always reference uh, whatever VMware is saying for the uh, study guide material um, to, to always uh, reference that uh, before, when, when you're going through and make sure before you buy a course, is this actually going to help me? If it covers let's say out of all of this, it covered five out of the 11 exam topics. Is it going to be worth $13? That's what you want to like, kind of just take an analysis of. All right, next up, uh, you know, this, this is an amazing blog. 
personal rumblings of female IT professional. Uh, not personal ramblings, amazing content. So Frances Wong, uh, she made this pretty intensive uh, blog post for VMware for the NSX or NV certification path. Uh, this whole study guide she has, she she's just accumulated all this amazing content here. Some of it we already referenced with the Britain, uh, Britain's uh, video posts. Uh, and then with the, uh, the VMware blog post, I, I just can't tell you how amazing it is for people, uh, like this to create like blogs like this to help people as well as for it muscle, please go and support these people any way that you can. Um, make sure you repost their content, help someone else who needs some help, uh, uh, so amazing content here. I'll post this uh, resource in the video description as well. So this video was a little bit long, but again, we went over a lot of content because we went over uh, two different certification pathways for the uh, VCP and V as well as for the VCP DCV certifications for 2021. This is going to get you certified in two different silos in VMware's uh, perspective. It's going to make you look just as good and it's going to save you about, uh, what we, we, what was it, like around 3500 at the end of the day when you're paying for all the cert extra certifications and the training material. It's still going to save you about $3,500. Um, so can't beat that. Um, I say you, I'd say you can't put a price on that, but you can because we just did. Uh, other than that, if you've enjoyed this video, as again, please like the video, subscribe, and please be sure to tune in for more certification videos as well as more videos on how to get a job in the IT field and the different spaces you could go into. Otherwise, I've had a pleasure uh, being here with you today, and you have a great one.